Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fill the reservoir. We're going to let it drain down. Grab the camera here for a better, better view. So we're going to fill this reservoir and it's going to slowly filter down. And we want to make sure this reservoir is the highest point in the system for bleeding because that's where all the air is going to go. And that's why everyone has so much trouble trying to bleed these systems in the truck. It's nearly impossible because when it's installed in the truck, this line actually ends up being higher than the reservoir. So you basically, it's impossible to get all the air out in the truck. So you have to bleed the system on the bench like this. And so, as you can see here, I just have the reservoir in a vice grip, so hold it upright. Master cylinder is just kind of sitting here and then it comes all the way down. And you can see the slave cylinder down here. And now what I'm gonna do is, as I fill this, and until most of the air bubbles come out, I'm just gonna let it sit. And then I'm gonna slowly pump the slave cylinder to pump fluid up and through the whole system in order to push the air out. And I'll know that the system is bled completely when no more air comes out of the reservoir right here. So as you can see here, as I'm bleeding the system, there's air bubbles coming out of that reservoir there, and I'm just pumping the slave cylinder very slowly. And each time I let the arm come back out, you can see the fluid level dropping. And that means it's sucking fluid in because air is being pushed out. Okay, so if I set the camera, maybe bump it up a little bit here. Put my handy dandy tripod here. If I move you guys up, you can kind of take a look here. So you can kind of see down into the reservoir now. And so, when I push on the slave cylinder here, you can see that there's no more air bubbles coming out, it's only fluid. And that's how you'll know when the brake, or when the clutch hydraulic system is completely bled and free of air bubbles. So as long as you have the reservoir at the topmost point and the slave cylinder at the bottom, you should be able to get all the air out of the system, no problem. Okay. Okay, so now we've got the clutch hydraulic system completely bled, assembled, ready to go. Now it just needs to go back into the truck. So, it should be pretty simple just have to route the slave cylinder back down to the tranny put the lines back in the couple clips I think there's only two of them and then we'll throw the nuts back on and we'll bolt the reservoir back in and then we should be able to test it out go for a test drive <laughs>